Hi to everyone, today we are going to install the drainage system, sub, sub surface drainage system for our green. So, this will be our main line, and this is the whole area that we will be draining out. This is about you can say two canal area, which is around about 9,000 uh, square feet. So this will be our main 4 inch dia and then we will be having left and right T of connections. So we have already surveyed it. So the here you can see we have a YT. You can see here this is the scheduled 40 YT and uh, that is we are using in drain system so it will be installed somewhere here right and the main line will be coming in this direction and then there will be a branch which will be cutting in so that will be draining water inside so this is the second one the second lateral you can say so we have two laterals here tell you This is our third letter. So that was the third letter from the main line on the right side. Here we have the fourth letter. So here you can see a job of his complete of survey. So this is the main and the center and then we have the left and right laterals. So one lateral is going there and from that lateral we provide a secondary lateral. So this is primary lateral, the straight one and then this one is the secondary lateral. Okay. Because the area was here was much more and we have to reduce the catchment area. So this is uh, the primary letter from the main. So this is the main and we have the left and right the lateral. So main we have the main drain pipe and left right with the YT and they, these are the primary laterals. All the water that will collect from here, from this whole area, that will be drained out to our irrigation lakes. So that can be used for further irrigation, future irrigation, you can say. Okay, now, what is the area between the two laterals? So that is the main question. So here you can see one lateral is going here and one lateral is going here. So in these two laterals, there is 15 feet area up the width. I'm, I'm talking about the width, okay? 
so here you can see clearly so one lateral is going there one lateral is going there and in between this is the catchment area of the two laterals so what will happen that uh, the the bed level is the clay material and uh, on top uh, we are going to put some crush material so that will be the coarse aggregate and on the very top there will be fine aggregate which will be the sand so water will go and filtrate through sand and that will uh, find its way to the coarse aggregate and from coarse aggregate that will go to the bed level which will be this this uh, clay material and from clay it will go to left and right to the laterals and laterals are 8 inch below the the clay material which is currently the level is so this uh, uh, if we go far beyond the 15 feet let's suppose i if I place the two laterals almost 20 feet apart, then what will happen? There will be high moisture area between the center of the two laterals. And uh, near the lateral, there will be a deficiency. So what in future, what will happen that there will be a lot of irrigation required between the two laterals. And in the center, uh, in the center of the moisture will be up. So hand watering will be required then because you can't irrigate such type of areas with the sprinklers and another thing is if you go close to the two laterals if you get close together uh, very close to each other then the whole area will get the moisture will be depleted quickly and you will need irrigation quickly soon uh, uh, not soon you can say quickly or you can say frequently or you can say um, uh, frequently and means that uh, if you have uh, water requirement of 8 mm per day then if you go for a closed laterals of drainage system then maybe you will need about 12 mm uh, irrigation per day so be careful you with your drainage system don't go for over or under um, design of subsurface drainage system so thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel like the videos